I gotta eat it like that button, even if it's like that small. I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay. Sapa, sapa. Hey, sapa. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sapa. Okay, hi guys. You are here with Sari. Not sorry. Okay, so today my special guest, this is Coach Gab Guerrero from CF MNL. Hey Coach, what's up? Hey Sari, what's up? Touch my hands are really cold right now. Coach. Your hands are perfect for hand holding. Okay, one, two, three, four. I felt it. Oh, we're going to make um, a breakfast burrito. Pagyo Longanisa, turmeric rice, breakfast burrito, awesomeness. If you were a Pokemon chef, what Pokemon would you be and what XP would you be? Cooking XP, Charizard level 69 when cooking hot dogs. So you are a hot dog Charizard? I'm really good at you know, doing pasta. Okay. Specifically, pancit canton. OG also. OG in also. Own, in its own right. So let me talk a bit about this longanisa here that I've got. This comes straight from Baguio. I love it because it's kind of like sweet but also garlicky, also meaty and fatty. So the way we cook this, we'll just put a bit of water. So we're going to cook it down like until the water reduces and then okay. simmer it till it's all sticky. This is going to make up like the meat of the burrito. I do have some of this avocado oil, only found at Landers. I've handled sausage, sausages before. Yeah, I think you're better you're, you're better at the sausages than I am. What do you think that smells like? It smells like yumminess waiting to happen. Yeah, you know, to every Filipino, this is like a dream. It's also super bad breath food. Coach, I'm gonna teach you how to do a turmeric rice. Okay. So this is sort of like the shawarma rice hack. What do you think of this combo? Like blue, yellow. This is a sea biscuit apron, by the way, guys. Aprons by Juan. Makes you want to cook and cook and cook. You don't want to burn the butter. Okay. 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 Smell what did that. you put in it? So the stuff that makes it like Indian-y is this stuff. Cumin. Okay, so we put the spice One in end. the butter. Then we got to caramelize these babies here like that. Okay. Yeah. There are many ways I know to open beers, right? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? My favorite is using like the bottle opener, but then of course, if, <laughs> if you're no required, shit. no shit, right? But if you're required to open it, you can use a spoon. The hook rip is when you hold on to the barbell and you wrap your fingers around your thumb. Okay. And that gives you a more secure grip. It prevents the bar from slipping. So here, you do your hook grip, keep it close, and then you just pop it like that. Whoa! What? Super easy. You want to do that? Okay. So hook grip like that. Hook grip, and then you put it here. Okay. And then you just kind of... Okay, fuck. Okay, I believe in teamwork. Give okay. me this. Okay. Oh! That just let out a really <laughs> weird <laughs> sound. Oh, okay. right. Wow, it's super it's reduced. It's reduced. Oh my god, flip it, flip it. Flip it's it, screaming it. at us. Wow, Ooh, look, look at that black. char. Put some garlic in there. I'm just taking care of the sausages for you. Longanisa. That's your expertise, bro. I don't want to handle any sausages. I take no interest in any sort of sausage except for the edible type. Mm -hmm. So the Department of Agriculture sent me this rice. It's called blood Ocken rice mm -hmm. and it's from the mountain provinces. This is what they grow in the rice terraces. Oh. In the very traditional method, it's heirloom rice. That's awesome. And it's something that the Philippines should celebrate. A lot of CrossFitters like get a lot of shit for being CrossFitters coach. Why is that? The movements really look iffy from an outsider's perspective. No, but what they're after is efficiency and work. Mm -hmm. So that's why they do that. They use all the available muscles and momentum so that they can get the work done. Now, my third ask, so what got you into CrossFit? Oh, me? Okay, so it was actually a breakup. Oh, juicy, <laughs> okay. When I joined, I was at my fattest. It was something that stuck. Like, it became such a part of my morning routine. I think you get stronger and fitter and love life. Yeah, you can see the results over here. Okay, so after the stir fry, we'll put two cups and just mix everything together. Better than bouillon. It tells you what it is. It's Roasted better. Roasted chicken base. Right? Organic reduced sodium. It looks weird too, but I promise you it's really good. Plop. Okay, so we added the chicken broth. Last but not the least, good old salt and pepper. They say pink salt is better. They say it's medicinal. Like they have these salt, salt lamps. They're supposed to light it up and it's supposed to chill you out. Many people are dying to know, you know, how do you get your dream bod? It's 20% training and 80% food and nutrition. You know what they say, no? you, can't, you can't outlift a bad diet if you want to start losing weight. You gotta watch what you eat also. You can't have everything. So you cut down the calories because you can't just starve yourself. That's going to end really bad. Don't be a skinny bitch. 
because being a skinny bitch is 90s. Strong, so, strong and sexy now. Because yep. you unlock the key to do whatever you dream in the world. That's true. Fit. Proper training, a good uh, training regimen. Training regimen, okay. You say training how many times a week? At least three times, but if you can't just yet, once a week should be fine. And then you work your way up. Of course, you eat properly. I mean, real um, food. Real food. Mm -hmm. Cooked rice is better than bread or bagels or, or cake. Rice is the ultimate carb for me. Like, it is. Fame. It is. And it's good for you. Key here is moderation. You can't have an entire link of sausage and just like five rice because that's just wrong. It's not balanced. What would be the perfect balance for this coach? This, this, this entire thing. Okay, for a guy like Gab, it would be like that. Mm -hmm. And then? And then half a cup of rice and, uh, and maybe some veggies. So okay. I just need you to slice it down the middle like that. Okay, I'll just set this aside. I'll use yeah. my hands. And then I'm gonna like crisp it up. Look at that inside, like all the fat, all the lovely meat. Take your fingers, coach. Okay, but uh, okay. <laughs> Very compliant. Now you're the coach today. Oh yeah. So now you tell me what to do, and I do it. Woo! It used to be like, sorry, come on, one more rep. Okay, you like burpee. whining to him. Oh, <sighs> coach, but I'm dying. Oh, you just gotta do it, sorry. We want to be as supportive as we can. We want results. We want you to to challenge yourselves. But of course, right? if you don't have the capacity yet, mm -hmm. we'll slow you down. What's like your favorite? Bad food hunt. We'll go for taco Tuesdays. You know how people make a big deal about Tuesdays and you know tacos are 50% off. Every Tuesday? Every Tuesday. Um, most places offer taco Tuesdays. Why am I not aware of this stuff? Well, you are now aware. Thank you, Jesus. So after that, we're just waiting for the rice. We're gonna toast this. And it's all assembly from here. Yeah, so I think now we, I'm just gonna flip this. You know what they say about katanas, no? Um, What's a katana ba? A katana is, a, is you know, the sword that samurais use. Oh. So what they do in Japan is they, when they forge steel for, for cutting, they keep on folding and folding and folding the material and hammering it out. Do you see the waves here? And that that's what, what gives it those wavy things. No, if, I, if, if, if I'm right, that they probably have folded the metal over and over and over again and then sharpened it into this thing. It's beautiful. Okay, choose coach, sorry. Original or whole wheat? Let's go original. Okay, toasting this in butter. Just a little bit. I love butter. It's all assembly, so basically the rice is ready. So coach, you're also into filmmaking, right? Yeah, I, I mean, it's not professional. I just started getting into it after filming my, my, my athletes or my students in Fort. I used to point and shoot, and then mm -hmm. I had this really low-powered computer still, and I was using Windows Movie Maker for cutting things. <laughs> it, it's, things started rolling from there. Uh, every time I travel or have people come over and train, I just mm -hmm. get, you know, make videos of them. That's how I started. For me, I always encourage like when people want to get into filmmaking, do it, because it's the best way for you to like document your life, your mm -hmm. own experiences. Mm -hmm. Who else is gonna do it if not you? My tita Ginger, she's actually my mom's sister, my ninang. She gave me this burong manga. I love burong manga. So I'm gonna put some burong manga here. Mm -hmm. What's next? Japanese mayonnaise, of course, QP. Actually, I didn't know when when you started lifting with us now that you were already making films mm -hmm. and you had you had sea biscuit. That was really pleasantly surprised, and that's, you know, I guess it's what started our hangout sessions after working out, you know. I still remember the time when you were you were preparing for Enough for Love. My super special girl right now, I met on Tinder. Mm. So I was like, you know, you know what the rep of Tinder is, na parang... Hey, don't knock down Tinder, I met my girlfriend from Tinder too. And we've been together <laughs> strong for more than a year now. Dude, me too, more than a year now. Yeah! Tinder rocks. Tinder rocks. Maybe some spring onions for color. Voila. So I'm gonna roll it. There you have it, breakfast burrito by me and Coach Gab. Let's pull on the romantic streak and just let's let's try it. I got that, yes. No. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Contact. Lady in the trap. Okay. <laughs> Batanis garlic, organic, get on it. Alright, three, two, one. <laughs> Dude solid. And you know what they say, you know, no eye contact when eating things like that. <laughs> Bit busted. I gotta eat it like that, but even if it's like that small. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so pass it off. Yeah, so pass. You wanna add sriracha, naman? Oh, so okay, let's do it. Jamborito. Jamborito. <laughs> oh my god, there's a name for this dish. It's Jamborito. Jamborito. Okay, you have to have someone to eat it with. You know, you know, food is best enjoyed with friends. Three, two, one, go. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh. This sriracha is like a whole different layer of flavor. Guys, when you when you prepare this, you start without the, the other garlic thing. And then you put the garlic thing. 
by Joey. Mm -hmm. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. I should take another bite with sriracha. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Paired with Joe's brew, oh my god, you have a perfect afternoon. Thank you very much, Sari. Give me a hug. Only a bro hug. Okay, getting out of here. Okay, bye. <coughs> Travel by Coach Cab. <laughs> sorry, not sorry today would not be possible, of course, without the help of my many great sponsors. 